What is up, what's up? What is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Tuesday mods are here. Today on Console Guys, we got eight new console mods and 13 new console updates. New mods for today, we got What's Nice, which is a new map. We get the Mossy Ferguson 5000, the Trans 70, the Stoll RE581 with trailer, Pastures, Lizard Front Packer for Shred ZT300, and Buildings with the Garage. Now, for mod updates for today, we got Spetsco Island. The Plantation, the Mossy Ferguson 100 and 200, which is pretty much a new mod, uh, Jakari Module Trailers, the Reach RD 180, the Lizard D882, the Lizard G54, the Case Axle Flow 250 series, the John Deere 6R US series, the Mossy Ferguson 8700S, the Snowfka Chicken Pen, the Echo Dealer Sign Pack, and Steak. Roll that intro. Welcome back. Okay, so the first mod to talk about, guys, is a new map that's available on console. Let's see. This is called Was Nice. It is 251.8 megabytes. Uh, let's see. It's adapted for precision farming, uh, adapted for seasons mod. The map has one farm, 112 fields, animal dealer, three selling stations, traffic, opening gates, new textures of crops and trees, machine shop, sawmill, liming station, gas station, transport missions, ice on the road, lakes, and snowmen during the winter. Uh, dairy, add in game painting texture, and a big forest on that one. So make sure you guys do check this one out. Okay, and the next mod to go over is the Mossy Ferguson 5000 series. Here is the first one right here, holds 3000 liters. You got one that also holds 5000 and back to 3000. Uh, you got rear hitch, no or yes on that. And then you got wheel setup single, or you can have duels. Uh, let's see, it is three slots. Let's go to the next one. This one is 15,500. That one we were just looking at is 13,500. Uh, this one, capacity 2,500, 5,000, and then back to 2,500. Then you, have, of course, got the rear hitch like we were just showing, and single and dual on that one. And, of course, it is a dolly trailer. And after that one, we have another trailer, and this is the Trans 70. Holds 70,000 liters, so pretty big right here. Uh, let's see, we got main color, any color, so if you want to have black or blue, you can do that. You got rim color, any color, too. Uh, wheel brand, you got trail board, you got Michelin, and then back to trail board. Let's see, wheel setup, you got standard, you got wide tires, and back to standard. Let's see, Michelin, believe the same thing. Yes, it is. This is also 16 slots on that one. And now the next one we have is the Stall RE581 with trailer from Black Sheep Mod. And okay, let's see, the trailer is right here under miscellaneous. It is the TLAL RE581. You can change the rim color. Let's see, silver, gray, black, or orange. Uh, design color, you got pretty much any color right there. Okay, but where do you find the power washer? You can go over here to placeables, go under miscellaneous, and there it is right there. This is four slots. So that one is four slots. This one was two slots. So a total of six slots for this. Uh, this one, where this says, with this machine, you can clean dirty vehicles and tools. You can place the high pressure washer anywhere you want and then transport it to the Lizard transport trailer using a pallet fork. So just use pallet forks, you can lift up to the trailer and put it on there right there. Uh, let's see, options though, you see as you can see, you place it down anywhere you want right there. Well, as long as you own the land. So there is the, well, 581. And then after that one, we have the Lizard Front Pack, which includes two of these right here. This one is 6,000, this one's 5,500. Uh, let's see, four slots for both of these, 80 horsepower is required, and they both hold the same amount, 2,200. Uh, let's see, these are Cultivator. I believe this one right here, the FPW2, actually deletes fields, so that's pretty cool right there. Uh, options though, you can change the color to any color you want to, as you should see right there. And then I believe it's the same with this one too. Yes, it is. So that is the Lizard Front Packer. Okay, and then after that one, we have a new tractor for today. This is the Forshrit ZT300. Let's see, 90 horsepower. Uh, let's see, how many slots is it? This is 14 slots. Uh, you can change the main color to blood orange, sky blue, or Cena green. Uh, I like the Cena green. Uh, design colors, you got white, uh, blood orange, sky blue, or Cena green. So there's that right there. Configuration, you got standard, you got 200, you got 300, you got 400, 500. And as you see, the design color is for the weight. And then back to standard. Interior, you got standard, you got styving, grid, 
and then back to standard engine setup you have the zt300 which is 90 the zt300d which is 100 and then back to 90. wheel setup you got standard you got wheel weights you got rear narrow twin wheels and then back to standard on that so let's actually take a look at this one in game okay and so here we are in game really nice looking tractor okay let's get inside of it real quick okay i didn't see no animations from when you get inside or anything nope okay but there is the interior uh let's see horn and i think that is it let's see lights you got one set of lights just one set of lights on here turn signals let me make sure the back ones are working yep all right let's actually turn it over nice engine sounds Okay, top speed is 21 miles an hour. Like this, it's really nice. Okay. So that right there, guys, is the Frustret ZT300. And here is the next one right here. This is the Mossy Ferguson 100 and 200. This is actually an update, but it added two new tractors in it. The 100 three cylinder and the 200 three cylinder. Uh, but anyways, the 100 right here. Let's see, you can change the rim color from MF silver to MF red. Uh, as you see right there, you can change the design color from white to black. So there's that. Uh, optionals, you got standard, you got front guard, you got front weights frame. You got 200, come on. And then back to standard. You got versions, shell type fenders. You got ROPS, you got flat top fenders, cab, and then back to there again. Engine setup, you got the 133, which is 38. The 133 multiplier, which is 38. The 135, which is 45. 135 multiplier, which is one, I mean 45. You got the 140, which is 49. 140 multiplier, which is 49, and that is it right there. You can also put a front loader on here. Uh, let's see headlights you got standard or you got side a uh, wheel setup you got standard you got wheel weights wide tires uh, rear twin wheels narrow tires grassland tires and then back to standard exhaust you got horizontal you got vertical and then there's that right there and this is let's see eight slots for each of these right here so not bad on that and then let's see the 200 is 10,700 uh, I believe it's the same kind of optionals pretty much uh, there's that. There's that right there. You can't change the color though. Attachers, you got linkage draw bar. And then let's see, engine setup, you got the 230, which is 38, the 240, which is 47, 250, which is 49, the 253, which is 57. I think I just said that. So there we go right there. And then let's see, exhaust, horizontal, vertical, wheel setup. I believe it's the same thing. Yes, it is. And you also get beacons on this one. So let's actually take a look at this in game. Okay, so here we are taking a look at the 240 series right here. Uh, so let's get inside of it real quick. Really nice. Uh, let's see, horn. Okay, you got the beacon right up top. Uh, one set of lights, two set of lights, so two sets of lights on there. All right, let's actually turn this thing over. Okay, nice sounds. Uh, top speed is 21 miles an hour. Turn that all off. Let's turn this on inside. There we go. You can see that it's like the key switch over. Okay. Pretty nice little farmyard tractor right here. Okay, so that right there was a Mossy Ferguson 240. Well, Mossy Ferguson 100 and 200. Okay, and now we're on to placeables, which the first placeable for today is pastures, which includes pasture one and pasture two. Uh, pasture one holds 20 cows, nine slots. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and place it. Wow, it's actually a pretty big area right there. There we go right there. So there's the first one. And then this one right here. Yes, you need to, gonna have to have a big area right for this one. So there's that one. So let's go over and take a look at them real quick. Probably take me a minute to run over there. Come on. Okay, just looks like these are pretty much just, well, yeah, pastures. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. So this one holds 20, like we said. So let's just put a few in there real quick. There we go. 
Uh, this looks like for their water right there, and this one looks probably for their food, maybe? Or probably the straw. Where's their food trough at? That has to be their food. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be their food. All right, but really nice. I don't see a spot for manure or anything like that. Let me make a... I mean, let me check real quick. Uh, let's see. Water. Total, yeah, there is no manure or slurry for this right here. I do like the, like the little bit of road they put right there. Okay, so that right there is pastures. We have one more place to, be able to get to. Let's get to it real quick. Let's go under sheds, and there it is right there. This is the building with a garage. $10,000, 14 slots. So let's go ahead and place this down real quick. So there it is right there. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. So there's that. Wow, these doors open up really fast. And there's that. Okay, pretty nice. Okay, so that is all the new mods for today, guys. But we got tons and tons of updates to go over. So let's go over those updates really quick. Okay, so here we go. This might take a minute, guys, because we actually got a lot of updates and pretty good ones, too. I mean, big list. The first one, though, is one of those big lists. This is Spectacle Island. What did this change on this one? Fishing boat modified to a grain boat to carry grains to various cell points. Log barrage modified to a ferry with ramps. Ferry tension belts increased from 4 to 12. Added tension belts to the log crane. Added the ability to hide field hedges and fences and or just remove collisions. Added a boat fuel point at the sawmill. Added a wood cell point uh, for use with the grain boat. Added a cell point to the straw barn for use of selling by boats. Added another boat unloading station. Added animal gate access to the sheep pen. Added a secondary animal gate to the pig pen for better access. Added a water fill trigger at Spectre Estate Water Fountain. Added a collision to the bridge gaps on path to main farm to prevent getting stuck. Uh, changed ferry po ports for better access to and from the ferry. Main farm silo can now store wood chips, pig food, seeds, lime, and fertilizer. Lowered cargo ship horn volume by 50%. Various props added and optimizations. Also, he had a support for the old production pack. And get this one, guys. An upcoming gold production by Farmer Menu. So this map is going to have gold in it. That's going to be amazing right there. No new save game is required for that one. Okay, now the next update, which is another map. And this is the plantation. What did this change on this one? Added an animal dealer. Added a new cell point accepting all products. Uh, seasons ready, including a custom geo. Precision farming ready, custom soil map. Added support for placeable factories pack. Added support for seed factory. Added support for the TMR pig food productions. Added support for placeable factories pellet pack. Added support for eco green factories. Added support for old production pack. Added support for potato bag factory. And also added compost right there. That is a lot of stuff on that map. And the next update is for the Jakari module trailers. What did this change on this one? Adjusted J18 flatbed price. Adjusted J18 flatbed tipping speed. Fixed missing gray color error in 110. Adjusted drawbar rigidness on both trailers. So that was it on the Jakari module trailers. The next one, the Reese RD180. What did this change on this one? Let's see, fixed texture issue and fixed wheel size on that one. Then we have the Lizard D882, the change log on this one. Added new tires and the colors were corrected. Previously, the trailer was on plastic. So there's that one. Then we have the Lizard G54. What did this change on this one? The colors were corrected. Previously, the trailer was on plastic on that one. Then we have the Case Axle Flow 250 series. So the change log on this one, let's see. Fixed problems with the LSW 1400, 1250, 1100, and 850 tire configurations. Updated store pictures and icon. And the proper credit section for Axle Flow 250 series feeder house on that one. And then we have the John Deere 6R US series. What did this change on this one? Uh, let's see some visual mistakes fixed panoramic roof option added and rear fender option added on that one then we have the mossy ferguson 8700 s what did this change on this one new color design new tire configurations new real lights and various bug fixes on that one then we have the Sosnovka chicken pin update which the change along on this one added more boxes to pallets uh, bigger pallet capacity increased pallet empty speed and clean pallet i3d file up on that one then we have the Echo dealer sign and the change along on that one. Brand options added, Echo, Mossy Ferguson, Fent, Voltura, and Challenger on that one. And then the very last one is Steak. And let's see the change along on that one. Added new color and normal map.
Okay, so that right there, guys, was all the new mods and updates for today. Let me know down in the comment section below which one was your favorite mod or your favorite update for today. I'm probably going to have to say the Mossy Ferguson 100 and 200. Also, remember, guys, make sure you guys do pound that like button. Let's see if we can hit 200 likes on this. Now, today's schedule after this video, of course, will come out the FS Daily News, but no other video after today. Uh, no live streams until tomorrow. So hopefully you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And for case I don't see you in FS Daily News, have an awesome day, guys. Peace.